Music licensing reimagined. List I O. Music licensing reimagined. Music license. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Faith. Welcome to a new vlog. This is gonna be a spend a day with me video. As you can see from the footage before, got up, shower, made the bed and everything. Um, I still have to do laundry and then I'm supposed to go to H&M at some point today to pick up a few things. I got some packages from AliExpress yesterday. I'm supposed to get some stuff from Target. We don't have Target in Canada, but my coworker 
is making a trip over so i just got some stuff so i'll show you once i get them this afternoon and then i'm gonna do laundry don't have the in unit laundry i'm set up however i did buy a portable washing machine i'm gonna finish up my coffee watch youtube probably try to call my friend and then figure out what i want to eat after this um washing machine it's small but because it's just me alone it works um i think i had to buy this attachment because the one that came with it was kind of slightly leaking no my biggest mistake was this um it drains in the sink so there was this time that i was on call with i think service ontario or something like that and i forgot to put the hose in the sink um but was in my room and then i just heard bang 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 i'm like what the fuck? nobody i wasn't expecting anybody so i'm like you know it can't be me i forgot to put this into the sink and it started flooding the unit downstairs and i was like jesus christ started grabbing for everything everything that could dry it up but i mean long story short it wasn't a disaster it just started to seep through but it didn't damage anything for the girl who lives below me um but yeah <laughs> and then i think it happened again but i caught it so from since that first incident i usually run to check to make sure that it's draining in the sink and not on the floor because i don't want that to happen but i'm going to start it and then start loading up come down others but it's cheaper and i don't mind waiting so i bought this usb power strip because i have lights on my desk and i was thinking that i need to i need to be able to plug them in and having yeah this works so i could plug both of these in and then push them into this i also bought this i think it's a 56 unit organizer for my nail stuff i have them organizing this but i was just thinking like say for example this that i bought from the dollar store a few years ago i could just put some into that container and then i also have like these loose um rhinestones that i could also add to it so recently uh when i went home in july i got my nails done and it was a bit expensive because then usually you would tip your nail tech or whatever i don't know if they do that at home for me and Newton. but here it seems like it's courtesy to tip your nail tech so yeah um she damaged my nails and i wasn't pleased with that i like the design to an extent but i'm like no i know how to do this so i had already purchased like 
my nail lamp because I do my own pedi at home as well. And then I started getting into nail rings. I think these rings cost four dollars and 19 cents and i think i got nine in the pack so i would insert i guess i could show it to you my hands probably a, a bit dry so i got like these and yeah like this was really why i bought this set and then there's this yellow and green i don't know if this is teal or it's yeah it looks tealish to me so i got these q-tip looking things and i also got <laughs> i also got these three xl nail tips and lord jesus the lord jesus <laughs> they are so damn long i've never done nails this length before so yeah this should be quite fun and interesting we'll see we'll experience it together i got i think this is a nail polish is it oh no this is a nail lamp for flash curing i think it should be rechargeable or does it work with batteries it's probably battery operated yeah so i just need to put a battery in it yeah this was cute and then i also bought one of these um i think it's a resin dish that's what they call it just to put like nail polish and whatever on it um and i also got some buffing blocks from them um that's it i'm going to put these things away and start drying my hair because it's going to take a very long time to get it dry it doesn't dry within like a few hours and then when i get up the next morning i would just um dry it out again and it should be fine at some point today i have to go to h m and then i'm posting my first youtube video today so by the time you see this video the first video will be live if you haven't already watched it Head over, watch it, and then you could come back and finish this one. I got a little bit dried out but this is gonna take a minute to dry yeah but we're getting there so I got my hair dried for the most part and then I twisted the front of it did some brows and lashes I'm gonna get ready to go to the mall and I'm gonna take you with me so that we could go to H&M and see what they have. This set is from AliExpress. I have it in brown, I think um, white, blue, and a nude, something similar like to an ivory color like this. Um, and then I think I got this from Old Navy three years ago, maybe. I'm gonna change and we'll go to the mall okay so i just finished getting ready this is the fit um this set is from urban planet it's not actually a set but um same material ribbed pattern the jacket i got from poshmark i actually thrifted it and my bag is from good old aliexpress sunglasses aliexpress boots from call it spring oh and i have to do my fragrance so we're gonna do that now. so the fragrance i'm wearing is um ysl libre there's the this is the intense version of it i love this if you hear anything it's the washing machine that's going 
So yeah, and then we're gonna head out. We are going to head out. See what I mean. I actually haven't even eaten anything all day. I had the coffee and then I was filming. So I need to get something to eat for sure. Usually on Sundays I would uh, meal prep but I'm not going to get to meal prep tomorrow because I'm going out. Um, my stuff from Target came. So when I get back from the mall I would show you what I got from Target and figure out dinner. Yeah, I'm winding down. It's a pretty productive day, I should say. Um, so yeah, my hair is still somewhat wet. I have to try to dry it again when I get home. It gets dark so quickly now. The sun probably already almost went down and I'm in sunglasses, but it's fine. We are here, we are living for it. We are living for it. And that's why I went with this um, lightly tinted sunglasses so that I don't look like a damn fool um, with some dark shaded um, glasses on so but these are fine and then usually I because I recently started getting into sunglasses so driving in it is somewhat of a pain in the ass for me because I'm not accustomed to it but these ones are fine I plan to do a sunglasses haul all of them are from Aliexpress because that's what we do I'm an Aliexpress girl I have a few more on the way hopefully they get here within the next two weeks or so um yeah and then i'll do that haul most of which is under seven dollars um because i try to stay budget friendly when it comes to shopping i don't overdo it I don't have designer sunglasses because i'm not at that stage in life as yet and i am a strong believer in living within your means so yeah, um, my means have not reached to the point that I could buy a sunglasses for three, four hundred dollars. For now, I'm an AliExpress girl. Just know that by heart, heart. My earrings, AliExpress. My watch, which is another questionable situation, because I wanted a fitness tracker, but I didn't wanna invest in an Apple Watch as just yet um, bought it had issues with it and that's the thing with Aliexpress because sometimes I, I wouldn't say most times but some things you know you're gonna have issues with which for me like any other company um, but yeah bought the watch it cost me like 40 Canadian or top 6 Canadian something like that within a few days and my friend told me about her experience with I think it was an Amazon purchase so within a few days started having issues <laughs> uh, the watch takes on a mind of its own and like if somebody is calling me um, it would just switch over the Bluetooth thing would just switch over and sometimes end the call on my car one barrel shit so anyway I got back like twenty dollars from the purchase which is fine I mean it still functions and everything but I think later on this year I'm going to invest in a fitness tracker because it's something that I use on a daily basis
So I just got done at H&M. Um, I think I have to go back to see if I find anything else because the mall was closing so I didn't have much time. But we are going to get sushi. That's the thing, like, I have grown to love sushi, but the options that I have <coughs> in my area, is, it's, it's quite disappointing. And when I head home, show you guys what I got from Target, and then... Uh, I think that might be the end of this spend the day with me video. Okay, so we're back home. I'm um, just gonna show you what's in my Target goodie bag. Sorry for all the rambling and the noise. But, yeah, it came in. This one, I got some um, tree hot body scrubs. One is dessert haze, peach, sorbet, and I got this one I've used before, um, coco colada. It was supposed to be two pumpkins, but I only got one. I have to check to see what happened there. And then the books that I got, this one is um, Atomic Habits. And the other one that I'm most excited about is Forgiving What You Can't Forget. So, yeah, as I start reading, I would let you know. I would let you know my thoughts on the books. But yeah, um, I think this is going to be the end of the video. Thank you for spending the day with me. I hope you enjoy the content. I would insert some footage, just unboxing and winding down for the night. But this is where we part ways. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share. And follow me on Instagram at I am Faith Rivers. Also on TikTok, Pinterest. And uh, yeah, am I forgetting anything? I think that's about it. So I'll see you on the next video. I owe.